In 2012, the so-called hardest puzzle on the internet was born, Cicada 3301. It was posted on 4chan and this was the beginning of the message. Hello, we are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. They said that if you could complete this test, you'd have more of a chance of finding out who they were. They signed off, 3301. What was actually presented was a series of puzzles with each one getting a bit harder. To pass them, you had to know something about coding or cryptography or just have general smarts when it comes to wordplay and references. Who was doing this? A cult? The government? Was this the work of the dark arts? Was it dangerous? Will we ever find out who is behind it? Keep watching for the answers. Ok, so first we need to know a bit more about the puzzles. We won't pretend that here at the Infographic Show we are master puzzle breakers, so we'll just cheat and look at some puzzles and the solutions. We should say it took some people a long time to figure those solutions out. The puzzles were undoubtedly put together by very intelligent individuals, and we know that simply because to create what was called the most baffling and enigmatic mystery on the internet, you had to be smart. And we're looking for people who no doubt already hold high positions and likely work in IT and internet security. There are also rumors that an organization such as the NSA or MI6 could be doing it as a recruitment strategy, or that some cyber cult was just messing with people's heads. So in that original image and message, when the 3301 guys invited people to play, there was a hidden clue. You had to download that image and then you would see some lines of code. And in that code, you would read Tiberius Claudius Caesar, say LXXT greater than 33M2MQKYV2GSQ3Q equals W right bracket O2NTK. What does that mean? Well, not much to most of you, but it's a cipher, which was a way to say something using disguised languages or symbols. Gangsters sometimes use ciphers when they pass notes in prison. A man named the Zodiac used ciphers to communicate with the police and lead them on a chase. You get the picture. You could have worked out how this cipher worked or you might have used the internet to find the way to decode it, but if you were successful, you would have ended up with this image. If you read that, you might see a clue that tells you a certain stenography program needs to be implemented with this image. Stenography, by the way, is like shorthand. You know, like when journalists used to take notes fast and they had to shorten the words and sentences. Some people ran that image through a stenography program and they were taken to a place with more puzzles with images or sets of numbers. This is what we mean by the rabbit hole. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper. There were more images and more hidden messages and this seemed endless to those taking part. They might have found some text that read, The key has always been right in front of your eyes. This isn't the quest for the holy grail. Stop making it more difficult than it is. It seems the people behind the puzzle were really enjoying their game. There was text from some of the earliest known written fictional stories, such as the tales of King Arthur. At one point a person could have found a phone number and had to call that. There was, of course, a message awaiting them. The accent was North American, but that doesn't mean the sender was American. This is what he said. Very good, you've done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final.jpg image. 3301 is one of them. You'll have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add an a.com to find the next step. Good luck. Later, the problem solvers came up against something even stranger, and that was a bunch of coordinates from all over the world. What did this mean? Well, if you followed one of those coordinates, you might have found yourself in Poland, South Korea, the west coast of the USA, or in Australia or Hawaii. At the spot, you'd find a poster with a print of a cicada on it, and also a QR code. There were more clues in that code. What did this mean? Well, it meant that these guys were a big team and they could put up posters in locations all over the world. This wasn't some solitary outfit working in a dark London basement or a New York penthouse loft. It was about this time that people started thinking, who the hell are we playing with? These guys are serious, they're global. The fact that the people at the Cicada kept using strange references just made this whole thing more mysterious and perhaps frightening. At one point they referenced something called Agrippa, a book of the dead. The words and images in the book were printed with photosensitive chemicals so that with time they'd disappear. There's also a poem stored on a floppy disk but it's single use, meaning after use it becomes encrypted and you won't be able to see it again unless you crack the encryption. Sometimes people had to go to the dark web to find more information and in every case the person had to know a fair bit about encryption and code breaking to get farther. There was even a musical cryptogram. It sounded like this and it contained a hidden message. Sometimes, when a person solved a puzzle, they would be taken to a page, but if they arrived there too slow, they might have read a message that said leaders were wanted, not followers, and the game was over for them. Only a select few could win, 
and those folks were promised a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, or at least a big reveal. So what happened if you got that far? Well, Cicada3301 posted a message on Reddit when the first game was over and stated that they now had the intelligent individuals they were looking for. There will be no more opportunities like this one, read the message, which signed off with a PS. And this, again, was a bunch of numbers that needed on scrambling. Then a year later, another puzzle ended up on 4chan, and again some people were sent on the puzzle trails, and only the fastest and best passed. Some folks had actually been waiting for another opportunity, having failed the first time. Some of those people believed that a great job or something wonderful and mysterious waited for them where the rabbit hole ended. They will have read this message at one point in the puzzle. Hello, epiphany is upon you. Your pilgrimage has begun. Enlightenment awaits. Sounds cool, huh? But many people failed to finish their pilgrimage and become enlightened. The digital holy grail was hard to find, worthy of Arthurian legend. It wasn't always about cracking code either, you had to be well read. An example to back this up is a reference they used to the 19th century American transcendentalist writer named Ralph Waldo Emerson. They might have cracked so many techno puzzles, but then if the nerds on the net hadn't also read some philosophy, then failure likely awaited them. To win, you had to be an all-rounder. The third and last set of puzzles was in 2017, and then Cicada 3301 just vanished from the internet. But uh, what happened to the winners, the guys that did find the grail? What happened to the internet Sir Galahad? There is one reliable source as to proof of Cicada 3301 correspondence, and that comes from a person who allegedly finished one of the puzzles. He leaked an email that was sent to him by the members of Cicada 3301. Many people think the email is genuine. Here it is. You have all wondered who we are, and so we shall now tell you. We are an international group. We have no name. We have no symbol. We have no membership rosters. We do not have a public website, and we do not advertise ourselves. We are a group of individuals who have proven ourselves, much like you have, by completing this recruitment contest, and we're drawn together by common beliefs. A careful reading of the texts used in the contest would have revealed some of these beliefs. That tyranny and oppression of any kind must end. That censorship is wrong, and that privacy is an inalienable right. So to join the club, you have to win the game, and then the only rule of Cicada 3301 Club is that you don't talk about Cicada 3301 Club. The email makes it sound like a secret organization that's filled with intelligent individuals who likely did okay in their latest IQ test. They obviously advocate freedom of speech and internet privacy, so if these guys were working for the NSA, then they'd be hypocrites, since the US government has spied on its own people. The message sounds slightly antagonistic and anarchistic and not related to the mechanisms of the establishment. It's possibly a bunch of friends rather than an official organization, but they are good at keeping secrets and they spread around. So far, physical stuff used by the group has been found in 11 US states and 8 countries. It's likely they're from the USA, but they reference British stuff a lot too. We found one guy who finished the puzzle, and he's a Swede named Joel Erickson. On his website he calls himself an IT security freak. In an interview with Fast Company he said initially I just thought it'd be a nice little brain teaser. I've always been interested in anything that can challenge me, and I never give up. In the case of the Cicada, the puzzle in question turned out to be a lot more than I thought it would be when I started it. Yeah, that rabbit hole was a bit deeper than he was expecting. He also said that he did all the solutions by himself, but others collaborated and it was kind of cheating. They could get past a puzzle and find the next one without actually having solved it. Erickson got right to the end, but what happened then? He said he didn't think it was a recruitment tool, and he certainly hadn't been recruited by anyone. The governments of the world just wouldn't sneak around on 4chan. When the British government communications headquarters put out a puzzle to crack when they were recruiting, they didn't hide. Erickson believes the group is not an organization or a business. He went on saying that these guys are not just coders, and that they have certainly read some far out stuff. That might be the British man named William Blake, an 18th 19th century visionary poet and artist who later was a staple in western counterculture movements. The CIA and William Blake just don't go together very well. The NSA and the doors of perception don't exactly go hand in hand. Cicada also mentions the English occultist Aleister Crowley, another far out writer that became associated with counterculture movements from from the hippie 60s to the cyberpunk movement of today. Erickson said in an interview, they are likely intellectual, anti-establishment, ideologically driven, and they seem to be valuing logical analytical thinking highly. They seem to share a lot of ideology with the crypto anarchy movement and old school hackers. But he didn't get any prize for winning, except the fact that he can now call himself one of them. Who knows, he might be the movement. We doubt that though. We can tell you that we found no one online who claims to know who Cicada 3301 is, or who says they collected the grand prize. They're out there somewhere, tapping away in the digital forests of the night. They might even be watching this video. Many people think Cicada will pop up again. The path they created might have led to nowhere, but they certainly created a fascinating trail. 
You might say the final puzzle is to figure out who the group is and that remains unsolved. By the way, we just planted two references in that last bit of dialogue. We wonder if you can try to guess what those references were. If you can't do that, don't even think about trying to solve Cicada's own puzzles. Once you've figured that out, we think you should watch some of our other videos that feature puzzles that have never been solved. One of those is the sinking of USS Indianapolis, what happened to the men on board? and the other is why the Zodiac Killer was never found. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.